Azuma from the Cameroon. It's Guinea against Mali. Absolutely everything to play for as far as these two sides are concerned. Guinea will be defending the southern end of the ground, playing in the red, yellow end striker. And Francia is a Zeku Koita. Nice touches from Mali early on. Guinea looking for the strong challenges and a bit ambitious, perhaps, from the centre of defence by Musa Diakite. All headed away by Abdul Dante. Zegu Koita. Nice little touch from him as well. Trying to scoop. I think the general consensus was that Mali uh, were probably favourites to uh, go into the semi finals. See how that all pans out. In the meantime, Guinea trying to re establish themselves with uh, Alsani Suma with the bronze medals in New Zealand. Now looking to fight uh, from a very, very precarious rear guard position to get themselves uh, sneakily into the semi finals and into uh, the World Cup final. Belgium, a couple of played Austria, as I said, with the uh, Red Bull Salzburg. In Belgium, Alanya Spore in Turkey as well is uh, Mamadou Fofana. And as well, all knocked away from the danger zone by Mali. You're just sitting back and soaking up a bit of pressure at the moment. Salif Silla once again into the midfield. They've got numbers for Guinea. Not as many as Mali have back, though. Mara tidies up for Guinea. So Maki Hilko with a throw in for Mali. Leading by a goal to nil. 16 minutes into the first half, and the match scoreless in Lusaka. The players were. A bit of space wide here for Bangura. Tracking back is Babu Fofana. Still Bangura gets the advantage play from the Cameroon match referee and while he gets bumped over in the midfield ball the margins, Mali should have been up by two to nothing. In the meantime, a spot of defending needing to be done by Abdul Dante. Kony. Seen some pretty industrious play. Much more in the creation and in the final third from Mali than we've seen from Guinea so far. But Guinea doing more industrious work in the midfield. Touchback from the Malian centre back. Babu Fofana to Samuel Diara. I don't think Guinea will be too concerned about the situation here as far as. Well, a clash uh, between two players in the middle of the park and the near side. Rahman War from Mauritania. Koita goes into the middle. Ball seems to take a little deflection over Zambia. Then it will be Egypt. We will play against the group winners of Group B here on Thursday night. In the meantime, a clearing header from Ali Kamara. And uh, yeah, I could say Kuba Kamara. Tony and company. In the meantime, Salif Silla for Guinea. Does get a quality ball now, does Toure. Able to uh, get himself in behind Babu Fofana. Strong play though by Salif Silla. Silla now with a bit of pace on him, tries to go past Bagger. Mali. Up to Dante. Given away though to Yamadou Toure. Coach to look a trifle frustrated. Five minutes and stoppage time before we get to half time in Andola. Mali are doing what they need to do. Again, it's easy pickings for Mohamed Kamara. It's a flick on nicely too from Ibrahim Asuma. Nobody really chasing for Guinea. They tidied it up at the back of Mali. To as far as quality of balls inside the Mali penalty area. It's a little better off the flank from Nabi Bangura. Guinea will have a corner just before. Musa Janepo as well. 
in the creativity for Mali. Mali playing in the yellow and white, defending the goal to the southern end of the Levy and Wanawasa Stadium. Four minutes into the second half, uh, we've seen some penalties that have been given that have uh, come from the slightest of touches. Tell you as well from the capital board and uh, early goal in the second half of that match as well. So it is uh, Zambia one, Egypt one, Guinea one, Mali one, which still means that Zambia and Egypt will go through into the semi finals and Egypt will. So a good start for both Zambia in Lusaka and for Guinea in Ndola from uh, 1 0 deficit at half time to draw level. Guinea having scored from a penalty spot by Mole Stilla. Suddenly looking to uh, pile the pressure on. Nice little touch that from Nebi Bangura. Not such a good one from Stiller himself. A piece of defending to come from Musa Diakite. Nebi Bangura spotting something that he was interested in. Genepo for Mali. Inside by Bagayoko. Genepo again. If he does so, then Mali will have one foot in the semi-finals and one foot in the World Cup. Mali from a penalty spot, two penalties in the opening seven minutes of the second half. Well, that's easy. Takes his time, shows a lot of composure. Does the central defender, Musa Tiakite. Has Mali back in. Manor replaced Ibrahima Suma. Grabs two goals. Silla with a brace, has Guinea level once again, both times coming from behind. Guinea and Mali now level at 2-2. Uh, and again, the balance of power swings back towards the capital city. And Egypt level at 1-1 with Zambia. Again, have one foot in the semi-finals and one foot in the World Cup. And that's how it's been swinging around. First it's one side, Mali, then it's the other side. And then a winning goal be the difference between staying at home and packing for South Korea. Mali quick to get on with things and uh, a little touch quickly there from up to Keras now by Abdul Dante for Mali. Put forward by Amadou Aitado also plays at Salzburg. Spain make the clearance outside of his penalty area, Samuel Diara. Headed away by Musa Diakite. Now wide by Haidara. Nice bit of anticipation from Seku Koita. Koita inside. Stolen opportunity. They've missed one. Mali. Great opportunity for Mali to go back in front. Silla. Nice little turn from Bangura. Still Bangura. Now Silla on a hat trick. And he doesn't take the opportunity. Just enough of uh, control there from uh, Musa Tiakite for Mali. And the match is becoming to uh, just uh, scrape a bit open at the moment. Both sides making little mistakes as the pressure starts to mount. Salif Silla for Guinea gives it away to Musa Diakite. Diakite suddenly from his central defensive role pops up on the left hand side of attack for Mar. Challenge by Momo. He's been blown for it though and away quickly comes the Mali side showing a lot of intent here. Taken and the captain of Guinea Mohamed Fofana getting a bit of a lecture from Mr. Estuma. Mali playing very flat on the halfway line. Forward by Abdul Dante. Little flick on will be. A little bit of a variation to the theme there. And the header is over the top by Guinea. Not a bad effort from the centre back, Mohamed Kamara. In Sudan, South Africa. The latter match taking place in the capital. We'll treat you to the West African battle here. Possession just about equal. More shots though from Mali than what Guinea have been able to. And booked Seku Kamara as well. Sekuba Kamara, the goalkeeper for Guinea. 
Matchison won and lost on yellow cards, though. It's one on goals, and there's two of those apiece for the two sides. And now Guinea with a little... Join Siller on the score sheet. They've scored all their goals from set pieces today. Siller with the delivery. Really poor defending from Mali. Oh, he times it perfectly. Just ghosts his way. In. Find himself in the semi-finals of this competition. And to make it even uh, more prolific for Guinea. And they'll be happy off the bench of the Guinea side. Is that uh, in Zambia? Bit of desperation at the back and the keeper misses it it's been knocked away just under a quarter of an hour to play in regulation time they will have some stoppage time to win and dola mali are going to have to read junior pharaohs for mali well are they going to uh, suffer their second defeat of the competition and end up with a minus six goal difference where things are looking at the moment. The way things are looking at the moment, it's going to be Guinea who will join. They are applying that much pressure. In every opportunity, Mali, a bigger part, and Guinea get to try and string a counter attack together. They're putting bodies on the line for that. Abdul Dante goes forward for Manju Diallo in the Guinea camp. Feels for a handball from Guinea. If they've got another penalty and converted it, uh, I think Mali. Uh, who are already staring down both barrels would have uh, given it up leading over Egypt by two to one having come from behind and Guinea coming from behind as well over Mali Koulibaly again clearance this time made by Mohamed Kamara on the counter-attack but he has Haidara so Haidara Guinea is still allowed to pick up possession in the middle of the park now they're going to spread it wide here. Toure once again. Zambia in the soccer on Wednesday. It's not that they haven't created opportunities today. Wonderful goal by Koita to start the match. Ali Kamara though for Guinea. 0 against Guinea. 6-1 against Mali. 3-1 against Egypt. Darker grabs his brace. Gets three in the tournament. Still one behind Luther, Luther Singh of South Africa who will be in action and the capital city of cycle will get a chance of Africa Cup of Nations. So Mali at the back now with uh, Mosa Diakite. They throw in the meantime is Siaku Bakayoko as a left back. Bondu could not uh, stop play on that occasion. Again, Zambia return possession. Traore. Traore to the left. Siaka Bakayoko. This Malian side has got about uh, five natural left footed players. And, uh, when they're given uh, chances around uh, the edge of the box in terms of uh, set pieces, they're very good. Koita. Covered by Boyd Musonda. Mwepu. Throwing for Zambia. So. 
into the fifth match. Of course, uh, the, the highlight of them all being the 2012 uh, exploits that saw so Zambia win the Cup of Nations in uh, Gabon. In the final, that had to be decided on post match penalties against Cote d'Ivoire. From there, and uh, Banda, number 12. Two foreign best players in this first 11 for Zambia. The other one, Big Patson Jacobs, best in Austria. So, under 30 minutes, we've got three games here. Three goals here. Mali. I'm interested to see what reaction the Malians will offer us. So, 12 goals scored so far in this uh, total. Tournaments. Casual play from Pasha Sakala as my book was calling for the return pass. He's <laughs> nicknamed the computer. The last time Zambia had a player, the computer was Zambia. Poison to the left, Chiruya. Starting his tracks by Musa Diakite. Zambia against start with Moses Nyondo. Giara. Smile and side seems to have uh, crumbled after the second goal. Dante. Drawing 1 1 against. Jordan also managed to beat the likes of uh, Hungary with Edson Cavani was part of the side then. The Paris Saint played two minutes of added time here at the Hero Stadium. Four goals we've seen in the first start. We anticipate and away to what's going to happen in the second. Uh, it's probably the last chance for Mali here to get something. Take a long one, but good cover from the Zambians from end of Mwepu, who is the tallest player in the Zambian setup, to luck in terms of numbers. So maybe the pep time, pep talk that came through at half time from referee, from Mats official and a coach for the Malian side, Bob, who probably have a, would have changed things at half time. Again, like I said, uh, Mali. I've always considered against Zambia, but they still come back and uh, win games. Must be very careful because uh, this is not a new story of Mali conceding and uh, trading against Zambia. If anything, head to head statistics. It's crappy there. Mali with uh, Siaka Bakayoko, Yakite, Musa, Abruna, looking positive now. Kukaba coming through from the captain. Abdul is known to come back. And it's when I win played over in a game. Muepo for Zambia. Chaco coming through from uh, Karim Karim Dante. Slowly getting to the last 20 minutes of this match. But Zambia, surely 6-1. And what is interesting is that Zambia, it comes from a village called Kamele village in Tripata, or the eastern province in Zambia. And he also played for a team called Kwazakutuka. But now Mali and he took a corner. Fuck it. They say no and the door will be open. And that's what Mali will be operating on. So 50-50 ball possession. Nine shots for Zambia on goal. 
right on the books of Mufrina Wanderers, which is a successful side in terms of uh, club football in Zambia, in terms of trophies. His father is one of those uh, lethal strikers playing for can be scored the uh, others of the time. Zambia. So as it stands, it's still seeing on the back is Shemi Mayembe, who misses uh, Clark's fixture against uh, KV from Burundi next week. That play from uh, Ibrahim Akone. Super League, of course, the Zambian Champions League title won by Zanako and Zesto United, who in 2015 were champions. Ah, oh, Mali. The ball. This is Mali side. Michael. Michael, good journey. Just now, right inside the box. A good cover coming through from Shemi Mayembe. Sakulanda. So Sakulanda's father was uh, a teammate for the current Zambia under 20 coach, based on Chambish. Of course, interesting in terms of the teammate. That, uh, when Sakulanda was a player, based on Chambish, into the closing stages of this match. Luchanga was voted Zambia's young player in 2015. And a short stint with four dynamos. Zambia. But now Mali on Sunday for Zambia's next game at 3 p.m. as the case of the Guinea versus Mali game will be on Saturday here against the young pharaohs of Egypt. But one thing we can confirm is that Zambia have qualified to the South Korea World Cup. Now, Mali. Can they get the second one here, Mali? Good pass to the right point for Zambia. With Shemi Maembe. Banda. Imano loses that position. Now, Mali with probably the first ever, the latter playing against uh, Mali on Wednesday at the same venue. Zambia fans uh, will take a keen interest in this one. The same can be said about uh, Guinea, who will be playing against uh, Egypt, having lost the first game of this uh, build up at the bank, uh, Brother Mali, with uh, Abdul Karim Karim. Returning in the meantime, it's from Musafa Ginepo. It's not the, uh, the bank, uh, Ahmed Hani Hussein, is trying to play that one, but it's uh, Mali who lose out of possession. by Mali with uh, Siaka Bakayoko. At some point it's very difficult to see where the probably think that uh, <laughs> at some point one of these two teams has probably fielded more players than the other but it's about the congestion that uh, does come through in the middle of the park. Kovisi uh, has come in Egypt to retain possession at the bank uh, with Met Mohammed Abdullah two. Mali. Mohamed Teb Gamal Abdelaziz is a former Zamalek coach. He was in charge of Zamalek in 2007. Of course, Zamalek representing uh, Egypt in the Tutao. Mali set up who was uh, outstanding in terms of Mali's performance. Speaking of which, uh, one of the big sons of African football, Frederick Kanute, is in Zambia. The former Seville Tottenham Hotspur and so five minutes played in the first stanza, scoreless between Mali and uh, 
Egypt. The long clearance at the back now. And certainly this one should be and at uh, five games, having scored 12 goals and considered two, and only one in the qualifiers for the 2017 AFCON. Uh, runners up in 1989 Mali, third place in 1999, and third place in 2015. So, one of the. the mark now by Egypt. Looking for Ahmed Mohammed, Abla 2 Mohammed. Like a pendulum, and very difficult to see where the woman brought the country because, as expected, especially when you see how your opponents have fared in your group from the first match, you have an opportunity to have an idea of what my and a half is plus pass. And Egypt will start with uh, Ahmed Mustafa El Said Taha Tama Muhammad Ahmed to the right, Ahmed now. Sloppy defending by this uh, Mali side. You tend to wonder they cannot string as not giving chance to Ahmed Muhammad. Muhammad, the player from Zabai. But what a spinning pass from the number eight, Nasa Maha, Abdul Al Hamid. So we've got a corner here, and it's coming Egypt's way. You told. At this stage, with 15 minutes played, getting to 16 the second stanza, Mali are yet second game under 20 tournament that is being hosted by Zambia. And if you watch uh, the way this Malian team is playing, they're a bit pedestrian. Or watching many a times when uh, Egypt are knocking the ball around. The draw is probably what they may be hoping for. This uh, match start at the back again uh, with uh, Karim Sadiq Maiga. To the right now uh, with uh, the left of this position, which will always be the number 20, Ahmed Mohammed. Mohammed. This one uh, to Galar Mitoy. New is a uh, total under 20 Cup of Nations with uh, 21 minutes played into the last 24 in this first half. The second be said about the first game because it's only four against two. A bit of Jiri Darling. Just now for Guinea. And uh, this one will go for a corner. In this case, the player. Was uh, found is the number 17. Interestingly, he's wearing uh, Beckham on his shirt. That's his nickname. Whatever his uh, full name is. Uh, take a throw. Another bit at the back with uh, Osama Gali Hamid. This is, clearly, this is one example where the supply lines have been cut up by this. Uh, Strong man and defense uh, anchoring around uh, Abdul Karim Karim Siaka Bakayoka and Sadiq Maiga. Throwing uh, for Egypt as uh, Mustafa Mohammed Ahmed Abdallah leaves it for the number two Ahmed Hani Hussein. Now oh, Mali come. Opportunity for them to shoot from the end. What a disappointment and easy one for the Egyptian goalkeeper. Muhammad Esa Mustafa Muhammad, but under 20 Africa Cup of Nations game into the last 14 minutes here at the Hero Stadium in Lusaka, Zambia. At the two challenge of Hebron now, the current uh, Atlas Lions Morocco coach, they attended in a draw there. It was basically for domestic players. But now back to action, Mali. They hope to bring this one and. Uh, he got the division of the Spanish La Liga. Good night for goalkeeper. Starting at 1.85 centimeters. Mali. So 
the Omar Zamali coach. Usually not instructions there. One of these, he did talk about uh, St. Peter's. With, uh, he plays uh, his professional football with F. Pointer. He plays his professional football with FC Red Bull Salzburg in Austria. But of course, he was part of the Mali squad at the Chan tournament. NASA. Muhammad Akman. Here's another throw in. Uh, Searching for now, but he will defend very well. Quick start. The sense of vengeance have been employed by this uh, Malian side. Seem to look, uh, be looking at this game to get a positive result because it will never be easy against the host uh, Zambia. So, the Republican president, Edgar Chagwalungu, on the right is a uh, former Republican president. He's done the business of things by simply bringing it inside because there are about two. Many players who are waiting to probably boot and connect from that position. So the one minute almost coming to an end here, and uh, referee does bring to the end of proceedings here at the Hero Stadium. Scholars between uh, the young fellows and uh, the. It Tupisama Zembe last week one new in that game that was played at, in Pretoria, South Africa. So here we go now for the second stanza here at the Hero Stadium. And it is Egypt shooting from the left to the right of the screen. And Mali confident in what is paraded for us from the afternoon to later on this evening. Mali turning now. Poita splitting pass. I was happy to get uh, Zijik Mai a few chances in the first half. And uh, I reckon. You fancy that uh, the second half will somewhat be different from what was uh, shown to us in the first half in terms of uh, the play, particularly from the Egyptian side who allowed the Malians to come at them. Suspension for this uh, Malian side. So, permutations. Should it end in a draw, then Zambia will finish as a today's match. The change is good. So, second yellow card for Egypt. Seems like frustration is creeping in so on into this Egyptian side. And it's Ahmed Mustafa El Said Taher, the number 17, the 19 year from Egypt. Have to be very careful. They seem to be collecting these yellow cards easily in this second half. But right call by the South African match official because suddenly Ahmed Mustafa El Said Taher was nowhere. There's a build up. And you can see one and Mark player here calling for the ball. There it is. Truly. Cover coming through, but this is where the injury happened on uh, Mustafa Muhammad Ahmed. Now, oh, break is on by Egypt with uh, Mustafa Muhammad Ahmed Abdallah, oh, committed by Mamadou Fofana. So, Fofana beaten for pace by Mustafa Muhammad Ahmed Abdallah. So, prior to coming for this uh, tournament, Egypt. Beat Kenya 3-2 in that international friendly that was spread in Cairo. Only in this country two days ago. But these are some of the fans uh, from the popular Zambia. 
cover the bank uh, coming through for Abdul Karim Karim. Pretty quiet game in this second half. He knows how to free himself from defenders. Uh, uh, this uh, Sadiq Maika. He's a player, the number seven for Mali. And his place now taken by the number 13. Ismail Kurbali. And of course, uh, Kurbali is uh, an attacking midfielder. Six Kurbali. He plays for Malian side. CS Dukualafila. So he's the youngest player, one of those youngest players uh, to the fair at some point. I think what uh, Egypt are doing is when they have a chance to commit more players, for now, for instance, they're only leaving the Number nine up front uh, to do the chassis, Tama Mohammed Ahmed Tama Mohammed. So they always want to look out for him each time they've got the for, but, uh, for Mali's side. That what has been disappointing is uh, they've been uh, presented with a lot of glorious opportunity. So the tempo of this match slightly going down. I think the two teams have uh, somewhat uh, made the resolution to say it's better to get a point. Uh, this looks promising and uh, throwing for Mali. This is a Kite open uh, going forward. Mali. The Egyptians are resolute to maybe finish this game uh, on a draw. So 16 minutes in terms of a draw, victory for either side or a loss. One thing for sure is that uh, the host nation Zambia has won its opening game. It's uh, not as important. This is one of the African leagues where now on the other side is Mali now and offside. So a change is going to be affected now by Mali. But this is how the offside came through with the corner for Mali. Okay, the referee will have to do a bit of policy. Policy there, just making sure there's no pulling and shoving around in that box. Switch play to the right now. Egypt. Chance now for Mali to get something from here and offside. <laughs> the number five, Muhammad Abdel Salam Muhammad Abdelahim. He's a defender from uh, Petrojet, 19 years of age, and uh, he's taking up the position of the number nine. Du Mali. Mali première progresse. finale compétition FIFA hein, euh, Tout à fait. pour euh, cette nation africaine. Alors que le Nigeria de son côté euh, étonnant du titre. Hein. Alors derrière euh, par cette équipe du Nigeria en, en quart de finale. Les îles très décevant au cours de cette compétition. Et là, très défensive hein, cette équipe brésilienne. Ouais, ça a montré grand chose. Pas très bon pour l'avenir euh, du football brésilien sur ce qu'on a pu euh, constater. Les Maliens qui ont souffert un petit peu parce que pour l'instant ils se font quand même chipper le ballon assez rapidement, ils ont du mal à le conserver. Peut-être fait si belle ouverture euh, avec la sortie. Quart de finale. D'ailleurs, était le buteur au terme d'une action collective magnifique, un des plus beaux buts hein, de cette Coupe du Monde. Cette confrontation 100% africaine qui n'est pas une première hein, dans, dans la Coupe du Monde. 
de cette catégorie d'âge. C'était déjà arrivé en, en 93 avec déjà le, le Nigeria qui avait affronté euh, le Ghana. Il a trouvé deux équipes de la même confédération en, en, en finale de, de Coupe du Monde chez les U17. Ça faisait 22 ans. Pas mal fait tout ça. Ça circule bien avec euh, Maïga. On appelle les attaquants ultimes. Alors, tous les joueurs de cette équipe du Nigeria jouent au pays. Hein. Il n'y a aucun qui s'est expatrié pour l'instant, à part euh... Lazarus pour euh, effectuer cette remise en jeu. Avec Chuk Vézé, le capitaine. Ça c'est clair depuis le début de la, la rencontre. Alors que Thomas, la, la petite finale hein, s'est déroulée plus tôt. Et a été remportée par la Belgique, hein, à l'arraché face au Mexique. La Belgique qui avait ouvert le... Aïdara. Ouais, bon jeu de tête là, et, et la remise. Ouais, c'est euh, pas terrible, ouais, c'est juste, bien. mais... Euh... Ah, il y avait eu un bon duel. C'est pas leur, leur meilleur secteur, effectivement. Alors c'est vrai que ils ont euh, l'occasion de marquer et beaucoup de buts, donc on le voit moins, mais... Cette équipe du Mali, c'est une équipe qui fait déjouer. En vrai, elle a battu la Croatie quand même, qui avait battu l'Allemagne. Ah, il y a des publics qui a choisi son camp, puisque là, sur le dégagement de Udo, il y a un petit nom d'oiseau, je crois. <rire> Koita, on en parlait tout à l'heure. Koita qui a laissé à Malé. Nigeria qui était dans le groupe du, du Chili, hein, en phase de poule. Et Nigeria qui avait mis 5-1. L'équipe qui organise euh, cette Coupe du Monde, ah oui. forcément encore un petit peu de, de représailles chez les supporters. Et ça repart. On profite pour saluer Fousseni Diawara qui regarde peut-être ce match, l'ancien défenseur stéphanois. Tour. Tour FC. Vous êtes un petit peu malheureux, il faut se dire avoir un ce soir. Je pense. <rire> Je connais ça. Ouais, même s'il n'y a pas énormément d'occasion hein, pour cette équipe malienne. Mais plus ça vient, plus elle s'approche de la surface de réparation de, de Udo. Et donc, Kelly qui va repasser par son gardien d'allonger le jeu directement. On peut couper en deux hein, l'équipe euh, nigériane. Il ah, y a une main qui, qui traînait, ça n'a pas été sanctionné, on laisse euh, le jeu. Ah, et bonne intervention d'Enogé là, là qui a... Alors elle demande aux Maliens de, leur rendre, de rendre le ballon aux Nigérians puisque ce sont, euh, sont eux qui l'avaient sportivement. Et là s'il y a but, là, elle eu... ah non, elle pas cadré. Mais... Le dos passe à côté, il y a but, qu'est-ce qu'on fait Alors, là, il les... Direct depuis les, les poules, c'est incroyable. Et 21 buts euh, depuis le début de cette Coupe du Monde. C'est vrai qu'on s'attendait à avoir des buts dans cette finale, on espère en voir. Donc on passe sur cette contre-attaque malienne qui sera coupée par Nigérian. Et dans le jeu, euh, cette tête de Traoré était très dangereuse. Et les Maliens qui continuent, qui insistent pour l'instant. Récupération des noix Kali une fois de plus. Il a poussé à mettre directement ce ballon en touche. Elle transversale là. Et bon contrôle. Elle même, ouais. De la part de Sangaré. qui essaie de repartir à l'attaque et qui va obtenir un coup franc, un coup franc. Ouais, pas mal ça, bonne combinaison. Et attention, ce projet de vite, la côté malien, si ça passe, très bonne intervention à Denoua Kali, ça aurait été très dangereux si c'était passé. Encore le capitaine là, du Nigeria, 
dans ce duel des numéros 10. Moussa Djakite. Aïdara. Non. Et on n'arrête pas à se dégager. Là. Maintenant, ce sont les Maliens qui, euh, qui viennent par vagues successives. Ouais. Pas forcément faute hein, de la part de, de Chuc là. Elle a été signalée quand même par l'arbitre alors qu'on est dans les cinq dernières minutes de cette première période. Il n'y aura pas beaucoup de temps additionnel a priori puisqu'il n'y a, a pas eu d'arrêt. Pour l'instant, on n'a pas perdu un nul. Sinon, un nul face à la, à la Belgique en ouverture de cette Coupe du Monde. Et sinon, uniquement des, des victoires. C'est vrai qu'elle a joué deux fois la Belgique. Ouais. Un nul une victoire. On devrait a priori en rester là pour la première période. Voilà, pas de temps additionnel, c'était prévisible. 0-0 à la mi-temps entre le Niger. Euh, un peu fatigué alors que on vient de reprendre dans cette seconde période. Euh, équipe fatiguée, certainement. Et du coup, un changement avec un joueur qui a très très peu de temps de jeu. C'est un pari. Pas mal tiré ça. Une intervention la tête de Fofana. Ballon qui revient dans les pieds euh, nigérian. Anoumoudou pour euh, Enwakali. Anoumoudou s'appuie sur euh, le nouvel entrant Madoueke. C'était le premier ballon. Il va falloir qu'il se monte. Il saisit parfaitement du, du ballon. Très propre ce, ce gardien. Il faut quand même que se rendre compte que cette Coupe du Monde qui se déroule sur le, sur le même format que la Coupe du Monde des seniors, c'est-à-dire avec des huitièmes, des quarts, des demi, des finales et des poules avant. Le dernier geste, c'était beaucoup plus imprécis que sur les autres rencontres depuis le début de la Coupe du Monde. Voilà, attention spectaculaire. Et des Maliens qui repartent de l'avant, il faudrait le donner maintenant. Et Koïta un tout petit peu tard là. Ça s'anime en tout cas. Et ça se rapproche aussi avec deux énormes occasions pour le Nigeria, même trois. En quelques minutes, c'est Nigeria qui souvent hein, prend le dessus aussi en grande période comme ça. Mais attention à ces... Clamorose la sproporzione tra i tentativi verso le due porte, soltanto due per il Belgio, 26. Per il Mali, qui se trouve però di fronte un Toinkens in versione Superman, portiere di ottimo livello, già terzo portiere della prima squadra del Club Brugge. Van Camp, ragazzo cresciuto, così come tanti altri i suoi illustri predecessori o tanti coetanei, grazie al Purple Talent dell'Underlecht, un programma che abbina studi e ovviamente la giusta quella del signor Schiemann, leggermente più avanti dell'ultimo difensore maliano il calciatore che quest'estate è passato dal Tottenham al Wolfsburg anche lui però ha cresciuto nel settore giovanile dell'Underlecht hanno parlato di una preparazione molto meticolosa anche attraverso i video di questa partita da parte del CT Bob Brovais avendo fatto tesoro di quello che non ha funzionato nella gara oh, la testa di Traore, fa buona guardia Fass e rimpallo che premia Van Camp, ottima protezione di palla da parte dell'attaccante dell'Anderlecht poi 